Welcome to the Bluetti EP2000 Energy Storage System Setup Guide. Now that you've finished stacking the system, this video will guide you through connecting the wires. This video series is designed to guide you step by step. Be sure to start with the first video. Check the product parts, make sure you know the space and setup requirements and securely stack the system. Safety comes first, so please take a moment to read through these important instructions and tips to help you along the way. Before you start connecting the wires, let's make sure you're all set. First, gather the tools you'll need as shown here. Once everything's ready we can move on to the wiring. Today we'll stick with the example of three battery packs. And before we begin double check that the PV input switch on the EP2000 inverter, the HV800 circuit breaker, and the main panel switch are all turned off. Let's start by connecting the grounding cables. The grounding cable is a yellow-green copper wire, with PE labels on both ends. Gather all the grounding cables and connect them to the designated ports. Use M6 by 14 screws to securely attach the cables. Follow this order, B700 to B700, B700 to HV800, HV800 to EP2000. Finally, ground the EP2000 inverter. Prepare the standard RNB146SOT terminal, M6 by 14 screws, and optional grounding cable. We recommend to use a 10 square millimeter yellow green outdoor cable. Then use the stripper to strip the insulation layer to a proper length. Insert the exposed wires into the OT terminal and crimp them together. Attach the OT terminal to the designated position as shown. Then securely ground the other end of the cable using your preferred method. Now let's connect the power cables. The power cables come with quick release connectors. Orange for the positive terminal and black for negative. You'll hear a click once the cables are properly connected. Now connect them in this order. EP2000 to HV800. HV800 to B700. B700 to another B700. And finally, B700 to HV800. If you want to disconnect the cable just press the button near the plug and pull it out. Now move to the communication cables, which have blue connectors on both ends. Connect them in the same order, EP2000 to HV800. HV800 to B700. B700 to another B700. Now let's move on to the AC power cable. The cable has a blue end and a gray end, both clearly labeled AC. Here's how to connect it, EP2000 to HV800. HV800 to B700 B700 to B700 
Let's go ahead and connect the grid and backup cables on the right side of the EP2000. For your safety, do not use electrical tools. Instead, use a crosshead screwdriver to remove the cover and an H3 hex screwdriver to loosen the screws by hand. Start by preparing the rigid outdoor 5 core cables, each with a 10 square millimeter cross sectional area. Then loosen the 10 screws with the H3 hex screwdriver, but don't remove them completely. Trim the 10 cables to the right length, leaving about 6 millimeters extra on the two grounding cables. Strip 12.5 to 13.5 millimeters of insulation from all 10 cables. Unscrew the PG waterproof connectors and thread the grid and backup cables through. Match the cables to the phase labels on the board. Tighten the locking screws and securely compress the cable ends. Finally, reattach the AC side cover using a crosshead screwdriver. Now, we'll show you how to connect the subpanel to the main panel with an animation. First, locate the electric meter in the distribution box. Clip the EP2000's current transformers onto the three live wires of the meter, matching L1 to L1, L2 to L2, and L3 to L3. Make sure the arrow on the current transformers points toward the grid. Next, find the terminal block on the circuit. Connect the PE wire from the EP2000's grid cable to the grounding bus bar. Connect the neutral wire to the transfer switch's neutral terminal. Connect the three live wires, L1, L2, L3, to the terminals of the three PMCB from left to right. Connect the three live wires from the EP2000's grid cable to the opposite terminals of the three PMCB. Connect the neutral and PE wires from the EP2000's grid cable to the corresponding grid terminals. Connect the live wires on the left side of the transfer switch to their grid terminals. Connect the EP2000's backup cable to the transfer switch's terminals. L1 to pin 1 L1. L2 to pin 3 L2, L3 to pin 5 L3, the neutral wire to pin N, and the PE wire to the grounding bus bar. Connect the left and right live and neutral wires from the transfer switch to the wire branch terminals. Connect the wire branch terminals to the four PRCDs in load zone 1 and load zone 2. That's it for connecting the EP2000 to the home distribution box. Move on to connecting the PV cables. If your solar system is not grounded, you can connect the PV grounding cable to the EP2000 system. The grounding process is similar to the one used for the EP2000 inverter, but keep in mind that the cable's cross-sectional area will differ. Feel free to pause and review these wiring steps. To connect the PV cable, gather the positive and negative PV input terminals, the MC4 spanner, and optional positive and negative PV cables. Before starting, clearly identify the positive and negative PV input terminals. Now let's go step by step. Strip the insulation from the PV input cables to the required length. Insert the stripped cables into the positive and negative terminals, then crimp them to secure. Slide the locking nuts through the crimped cables and into the plastic housings. You'll hear it click when they're in place. Tighten the nuts to secure them.
Use a multimeter to check the positive and negative poles. Insert the negative and positive connectors into the EP2000's PV input ports. The cable setup is now done. Let's proceed to the other components. Start with the EMS controller. First, screw the antenna. Then, mount the EMS controller on the wall, using the bracket to mark where you'll drill the holes. Drill four holes with an electrical drill. Secure the bracket with self-tapping screws. Once it's in place, slide the EMS controller into the bracket from the top. Next, connect one end of the RJ45 connection cable to the PCS port, and twist the cap. Then, connect the other end of the cable to the COM2 port on the EP2000 inverter, and twist the cap as well. Follow these steps to assemble it. Prepare an 8-core cable of the appropriate length, preferably UL2238 and 24AWG. Then follow these steps to connect the 8-core cable. Unscrew the end cap of the 8-core cable and locate the positioning hole. Pass the 8-core cable through the cap, loosen the terminal screws and refer to the 8-core terminal order in the table. Insert the cables into the 3rd and 4th positions, then tighten the screws. Reattach the end cap to the 8-core cable. Connect the 8-core cable to the third-party meter as shown. Finally, connect the cable to the EMS controller to complete the setup. Next, install the external protective cover on the EP2000, HV800 and B700. Then, insert two handle seal strips on the EP2000. Well done! You've successfully completed the electrical connections for the EP2000 and B5000 system. At last, it's time for system commissioning. Before powering up the system, double-check these details. To power on the system, turn on the PV input switch on the EP2000 inverter first. Switch the HV800 circuit breaker to on. Press and hold the power button below the breaker until the indicator turns green. Wait about 40 seconds for the inverter indicator to stay steady green. Switch on the AC circuit breaker for the inverter's grid block. Turn on the system switch in the Bluetti app. For more details, refer to the Bluetti app user manual. Check the output voltage of the backup block. 
switch on the AC circuit breakers for the inverter's backup block, and you can monitor EP2000 system status using the Bluetti app. Ready to embrace a smarter, eco-friendly lifestyle? Don't miss our next video where we'll guide you through setting up the system via the app for an even more efficient energy experience. That's all for connecting the wires. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips to explore your EP2000. See you in the next video.